Welcome to Proofpoint's how-to video tutorial series which is aimed at sharing best practices for configuring the Proofpoint protection servers, features, and functionalities. This video tutorial demonstrates how to manage and administrate safe and block lists within the Proofpoint protection server, or PPS. The Spam Detection module is enabled by default and starts filtering messages for spam as soon as the Proofpoint Protection Server starts processing messages. The Spam Detection module includes rules for managing messages from senders within a set of organizational safe and block lists. Organizational safe lists allow you to configure a collection of envelope criteria that classifies a message as not spam by assigning a spam score of zero. An organizational block list is a collection of the same envelope criteria that classifies the messages as definitely spam with an assigned spam score of 100. Let's take a look at an example of a manual entry into a safe list. Navigate to the Email Protection tab, Spam Detection Module, Organizational Safe List. To add an entry for the email sender, click the Add button. In the Add List Entry pop-up window, make a selection from the Filter Type drop-down list. Any of the following criteria can be used for an entry in the organizational safe list, including the email address of the sender or recipient, the host name of the system sending the email, the name of the hello domain where the message originated, or the sender IP address. In this example, we'll use the sender email address. The operator will remain as equal. We can then enter the value as example at example.com. Messages from this address will therefore not be classified as spam. It is recommended practice to use specific IP addresses or full email addresses. It's also a good practice to add a comment about the entry which may describe the reason for safe listing or tracking purposes. Click on the Add Entry button to update the list. As always, remember to save any changes. On the Safe List page, we can see the added sender hostname equals example at example.com. The organizational block list is a collection of the same criteria that classifies the messages as definitely spam. When a message meets the criteria, it is assigned a spam score of 100 and is no longer filtered for spam but will continue to process through the other filtering modules. Copies of the messages are sent to the blocked quarantine folder. These messages can be found by navigating to the System tab, Quarantine Module, Folders page, and Blocked Folder. By default, messages placed in the blocked quarantine folder are excluded from the end user digests. Placing these messages into a separate folder in the quarantine allows administrators to automatically delete them from the quarantine using short expiration settings. For example, we can add a block list entry for a sender at example at example2.com to be marked as spam. Navigate to the organizational block list within the spam detection module and click the Add button. We can choose the criteria for filter type, operator, and value. Any of the following criteria can be used for an entry in the organizational block list. The email address of the sender or recipient. The host name of the system sending the email. The name of the hello domain where the message originated. The sender IP address. After closing the criteria, we can then enter a value. There may be times when an administrator will need to export and or import safe or block list data. 
to Export Safe List Data, navigate to the Spam Detection Module, Organizational Safe List page. Select the Options drop down button and then highlight the term Export. The generated file will be in CSV format and can be opened in Microsoft Excel. When multiple entries are to be added at once, admins may need to import safe or block list data. This can be done by creating a similar file using the CSV format. It's important to ensure that the file is in the correct format with the correct criteria. Select the Options drop-down button as before and then highlight the term Import. We can now see that the list has been updated. One important note to remember is that an entry in the organizational block list will prevail over the same entry in the user's personal safe senders list. Thank you for watching our brief how to video tutorial on how to manage and administrate safe and block lists within the Proofpoint Protection Server or PPS. For additional information on our products, visit our knowledge base at https colon forward slash forward slash proofpointcommunities.force.com. For questions, comments, or feedback on this tutorial, please email us at training at proofpoint.com.